So this brings us, you know, after the trifecta, we have we have singles, messages singles, and we have uh, five ways out of friend zone, and now we have this video. This one is specifically, um, you know, made to ask the very question, like, what are your standards for a partner, you know, a spouse, or whatever. You know, if you're looking to the future, we're saying, what are you dating for? You're dating for a spouse. You're dating for right now. You know, dating to this experience, you know. So we have to look at, you know, we already discovered who we are through this single process, hopefully. So if, we, if we've done that, if we loved ourselves, we love other people. And then, you know, through all that, we're loving God. Um, we have to also set a standard of how we should be loved, you know, how we feel we should be loved, how we feel we should be treated. So if you're able to respect yourself to that level, then you can understand how you should be treated. So the first step in, you know, picking the one, the one that God has for you is always, you know, respect yourself. And the person who God has for you is going to admire that and they're going to respect you twice as much because of that so it's how you treat yourself you know how you treat yourself is is the the top priority and you know people will admire that but the right people will really really admire that so if you look at it that's the first thing respect yourself and the second thing is setting the standard so you know you don't have to put it on a long list of specific things like a certain height or a certain job requirement because that's not that's not really what you're trying to look for in a, in a spouse, you know. You're not trying to look for this X, Y, Z. You know, you're going to look how how they make you feel, how they treat you, you know, how good they're going to be when you are experiencing bad times, when you have children, which is not a bad time. I'm saying when you have children, that's going to be a separate thing. But, you know, how you take care of the kids, you know. All that stuff. So you're gonna look into that that little parameter there, and and you're gonna find these things, and 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 you're gonna be interested because you're gonna ask yourself, how would I how would I do these things in my uh, you know relationship? So how would I respect my partner? And then you, it's just gonna go back and forth. So don't think too much on it. Pray about it. Pray if you if you feel like it's it's weighing on your mind twenty four seven. Pray about it constantly. So. But enough and have faith in it, okay? And then let it go. Because cause God's going to work it out for you. It might not look good. You might be 47 right now trying to get married. So just be optimistic about it. Because, you know, God has placed certain things on your heart for a reason. You know, you're a very skilled, very talented, very blessed person by God. So just have have the last thing I'll probably say in this video have gratitude be thankful every day for what you have um that's how you find the one you know just being thankful for what you have right now before you get the one don't say we're waiting for somebody to complete me or oh, i want this house or i want this man or, or i want this woman you just have to you just have to appreciate what you have in your life now and then just just thank god for it every day because that's when you're going to get the one after you appreciate it, what you have now. So thinking about that, uh, yeah, this has been a great series. I'll probably make four more videos because I really love talking about this, okay? All right, <laughs> this, <laughs> I got to find the one. So I got to show more gratitude, I suppose. Follow my own advice. Love y'all so much. God bless. Peace.